How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I want to show you guys how to onboard a SenseCap M1 onto the Crank Network. So let's get into it. All the relevant links will be in the description below as always so you guys can check it out. This is a guide that I will be following however it is a little bit outdated which is why I want to make this video. I wanted to make this video as well because some of the older videos are already outdated as they have made improvements onto the Crank website. So First thing you want to do, link will be in the description below, head over to the Crank dashboard, dashboard.crank.io, which will be in the description, and you need to make an account. So the first thing you want to do is make your account. I signed in with my Google just to make it easier for me. And then you want to head over to wallets. As you can see, I already have a wallet. If you're making this for the first time, this will not be here, but this is just for a different gateway I already have set up. What I'm going to do is click create new wallet, which you guys should have as well. And it's going to give me my secret key. Do not share the secret key with anyone. Obviously this one that I'm showing is not the one that I'm going to be using. So I'm going to click generate new and use one um, that I generate new off screen. But the wallet cannot be recovered if you lose this. Your friends can be stolen if you use the secret key on a phishing site. So make sure you make a backup. So I'm going to copy the secret key off camera and then we can move forward. Now it is double checking to make sure I have my backed up secret key, so I'm just going to copy what I just saved and put it back here and then we can move forward. I also added a little alias so you guys can see here. I just put the brand name and the last six of this serial number just so it's easier on my end because I do have two different sense caps. So I'm gonna end up changing this one from YouTube to saying the other sense cap serial number. So make sure that under gateway, it does have the green assign button. If it does not, there might be an issue and you need to reach out to the crank team and they can resolve it promptly. So while that is being taken care of, I'm going to go to this website, which will be in the description below. I will do my best to update it with the latest images as they are released in the future. If you're watching this video in the future and I'm going to download the newest crank image, I'm going to download it to my desktop and it looks like it's going to be about 1.1 gigabytes, so it's gonna download relatively quickly. And at this point, if you haven't already, if you know how to take the SD card out, you need to do that, and it's pretty easy. It's pretty much just two screws right here and right here, and then you pop it out, and then the SD card is right there. So I already have my SD card pulled out, and it is right here. Have it in my hand. And I need an SD card reader so I can actually flash this onto the SD card. You don't need to do anything with the actual SenseCap device or any Helium device that you have right now. All you need is the SD card and we can go from there. So in order to flash the actual crank image onto the SD card, you're going to need something called Belena Etcher. I hope I'm saying that right. And basically this allows you to flash the image on. This is a Windows ISO file or an IMG file, depending on how you, you view it. Either way, the only way to actually flash and totally expand all of the contents onto it is to use something such as this etcher. So I'm gonna click flash from file, image, right here. Okay, and now it's pulling it up. Now I can click select the target. And I'm gonna use the micro SD card that I have just plugged into my computer. There are some other four hidden, but it detects the device that you just plugged in. I'm gonna click select, and now I'm gonna click flash. This process can take a little bit of time. You can see it's decompressing right now because it's in a zip file. It can take anywhere from five minutes to an hour so just be patient with it make sure that you keep your computer on it doesn't go to sleep or anything like that because that could affect this process so i'm going to let this go through and i will see you guys when it is finished all right so now that i have my actual device plugged in with the image flashed then i want to head over to the local ip address for this specific device this is going to vary for you and if you don't know how to find it there are plenty of tutorials on how to do it basically what you need to do is log into your router and find the local IP address. Once you find that, you go here and then you put colon and the port 17080, 17080, and it will bring you to this website. It might say the connection failed for a second, then it will refresh and this pop-up will come up and it's telling me I need to log in. So the username is admin and the password is going to be the last six digits of your gateway ID slash your MAC address. So in my case, I'm gonna type it in and I believe it's going to be this. Now I'm getting a pop-up in the bottom right. My camera was in the way. It's telling me I need to set up my gateway before I can use it. The first thing I personally wanna do though, because I am hardwired to ethernet, I forgot to mention that. If you're setting this up for the first time, you need to be connected via ethernet. Then you can configure your Wi-Fi, and then I can have this remote in my house. So 
I'm going to configure the Wi-Fi and then I will be back. All right, so now that I'm connected to the Wi-Fi network, you want to make sure that your screen says exactly what mine is saying right now. So basically, in order to set up the gateway, you got to make sure that the image is crank. The model is your respective model. In my case, it's the SenseCap M1 and my region is US915. The gateway ID should be identical to the one on your device, but just double check and make sure. You want to make sure that Packard forwarder is checked. And finally, for the port and what it forwards to, you don't have to mess with that. So this is the setup. Now you can click save and it should be done. What I need to do now is go to the wallet and import this secret key that I actually wrote down a couple of steps before. So I'm gonna pause and import this secret key. My wallet has been successfully connected. Now you can see if I were to go back to the dashboard, you can see that it is identical. 1E5, it should say 1E5 here. Next, you need to have a balance in your wallet in order to actually assign the gateway to pay for gas fees. So I'm going to copy my public key and send some Kidena from my Zellcore wallet. All crank transactions occur on chain zero. So make sure that you set it to chain zero when sending the Kidena. It takes about two minutes for the Kadena to get to your account, so just be patient. I did refresh and log back in and it showed up. So now I can click assign and make sure that I get the gateway ID, go back and select the right model. In my case, it's a SenseCap M1. I enter the gateway ID and click submit and it does send a confirmation notification. It may take one to two minutes to settle on the blockchain. Okay, so as you can see here, I have a gateway name assigned with my corresponding gateway ID. So I'm gonna click on it and it just gives you some more information. You can just check this page out if you want on your own time. I'm gonna click proof of trust and this is where you can actually participate in the consensus, which is 1851 crank, but right now it is closed and the network participation, this is what actually gets you to earn crank. So you need 617 crank at the time of this recording. It fluctuates a lot, so this price will most likely not be the price when you sign up. Now, if you wanna install Helium so that you can use both Helium and crank, you're going to go to the Helium tab and click install. And that's going to conclude the setup for Crank on your SenseCap M1. You guys can see I have four Docker containers running right now, the Crank Update, Crank the Miner, and the Crank Packet Forward. So from here, if you guys have any questions, feel free to put them in the comment section below and I will do my best to answer them, as well as join Crank's Discord server as they have a really good support team in there. If you have Telegram, they also have Telegram, which I will put in the description below. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next video. Have a great one. Peace out.